Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video. There's not many videos on YouTube about uh, DP Custom Works uh, work. And I uh, just wanted to make a quick video, one take. Um, pretty much what I've done is I've had my M&P 2.0 Compact uh, cut for an RMR slash Hollow Sun uh, red dot. And then on the back, I got it recut for a Glock rear sight. I'll show you. So, so uh, you see the rear sight is now a Glock style rear sight. And um, he's cut the Holosun right there. So, <clears throat> normally... Uh, the M P rear sight comes a lot far forward. You know, it's a really long sight. Um, so he mills that out and uh, puts an RMR uh, cut on top of it. You can do any cut you want, but I chose the RMR slash Holosun cut. And I actually ch uh, decided I was going to get an RMR, but then I saw the prices of these Holosuns and I was like, well, you know what? I'll try it out. It's a little dim in here right now, but... That's the dot, and then that's the uh, big dot sights. I've got suppressor height big dot sights. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, it did great, great job. Um, here's one thing. I did not get the slide refinished. Uh, underneath this, and I'll show you here in a second, um, it's just bare metal. Now, the MMP slides are made out of stainless, so I, it's not that big of a deal. But if you can kind of see from the top... The two sides where the Glock sight goes are unfinished because everything under the RMR and Glock sight is unfinished. But, you know, it was going to be like an extra, I have no idea how much, uh, to get it to get it refinished. And it's going to be covered up anyway. And it's stainless steel. So, I didn't go for that. But this is an amazing deal. I paid $125 total for the RMR cut and the Glock cut on the back, and this was $30. This is a uh, a plate that covers up the RMR cut, um, you know, if you take the red dot off. So one of the things is um, under underneath here, there's like a little plug thing. I'm not exactly sure what it goes to, um, probably having something to do with a striker, but like on the, you know, before you have it cut, when you take the rear sight off, it, it there's a little plunger there that the rear sight has to keep down. So I can't just like say I had to take I had to take this off and send it off for warranty work. I couldn't use the gun without something covering up this area. So this is optional, <clears throat> but I purchased this little plate just in case I ever need to take it off. Now you see it's it right here. It's got these things. These are cut out for the posts that are in here. And I'll show you here in a second. There are posts that are milled into um, into here that uh, just help stabilize this. You know, they connect with the Holosun or the RMR. Holosun obviously has the footprint um, <clears throat> of the RMR. So um, that's that. Let me get this uh, RMR off of here. Um, oh, one one uh, one other thing is that uh, when you <clears throat> When you have to get sights or backup sights or suppressor out sights, um, I went with these big dots. And um, what you do is you have to have a Glock rear and an M&P front. Well, they don't really sell them like that. At least I couldn't see that. So I actually had to call excess sights and say, hey, I need an M&P front and a Glock rear. And they said, well, we can't confirm that that'll work. And I was like, well, let's, let's tr give it a try. So I went out and, uh, you know, kind of lined these up as perfect as I could and shot them the iron sights are pretty good um up about five yards three yards it's about two inches low from where you're uh, shooting at and um at about 10 yards or 11 yards it's about three or four inches low from where you're shooting at but there's nothing i can do to adjust the height and that's that's good enough for the backup sights that's fine um, of course the red dot you can adjust to whatever you want to to be perfect but uh, great work. Let me get this thing off here and show you. Okay. Here is the cut the way I got it. So it has those 
those posts made into it. Um, very nice work. Everything looks clean. This is kind of has a radius on it, at the very front of it. So as far as uh, craftsmanship, it looks fantastic. Of course, that's the little plunger that has to be set down. Uh, let me put the cap on there and show you how it looks. Okay, here is the uh, top on it, um, the little cover. Uh, I like it, you know, um, it, when you see it from the top, you can kind of see the edges. Uh, you know, it's not like this perfect fit kind of thing. Um, but, you know, its main job is to cover up the big, you know, cover up the screw holes, protect the uh, posts, um, you know, and get, get the gun back working because you have to have that little plug that was under there covered up, you know, pushed back down. So, um, you know, this is great if you have to, you know, if you decide you don't like the red dot or you want to send your your unit in to be a warranty uh, fixed or something like that or you decide you're going to sell it and then get a different red dot, well, there you go. You got uh, you got that. So this cut is uh, compatible with all RMR um, compatible stuff. So it's RMR, Holosun, 407C, 507C. <clears throat> so anyway... You know, I mean, it's kind of shiny around the edges. Um, if that bothered you, then you could get it refinished or you could, you know, fix up that a little bit. I've kind of got it. I don't have it tightened down super tight. But you can kind of adjust it a little bit. But anyway, I really like it. Um, <clears throat> yep. The, oh, the one, one thing I was going to say is that this uh, rear uh, Glock cut... Um, it wasn't like super tight like of course you know the front one I had to uh, bang in with a with a uh, punch um, this rear my Glock sight would literally just slide in there and I can't speak if that's the cutting or the sight or what but this excess rear sight um, has screw holes at the top so you kind of you just slide in there to where you want it line it up and then you tighten down these these two screws that are recessed into there with some red Loctite and uh, I mean I I haven't run it a lot so uh, you know I'll update back if this thing is not going to stay on there but I, I don't think it'll have that big of a problem especially with that red Loctite poured all over it but yeah A plus from DP Custom Works um, here's the information right here dpcustomworksllc.com they did great work very very affordable this was a this right here this setup was a hundred and twenty five dollars um because of the labor day sale they were running so i mean you just can't beat that for an rmr cut a glock rear sight cut and a, a cover and a little cap cover to go on the back of it so i highly recommend these people uh, if you have any questions just uh let me know Hey, before I let you go, uh, I want to talk about the re uh, return time, the turnaround time. Uh, I sent my slide off, assembled, they took it apart, did the work, shipped it back to me within two weeks. I had this slide back two weeks after um, I sent it off and free shipping back. So $125, two weeks, you cannot beat that. All right, have a good day.